Hi. Welcome to Data Structures and Algorithms. This is going to be your syllabus quiz. Well, actually, not the quiz, just the discussion of the syllabus so that you can do the syllabus quiz. Um, this class is about not necessarily any programming techniques, but are probably more a problem solving. There are several different ways you can organize data and process it in such a way to make your programs run better. Uh, I'm not going to make this a programming class, even though you may get assigned a program or two along the way, but it won't be a week in, week out programming class. But you will be trying to tell me that you understand what the different techniques, uh, algorithms, what they do, how they process. Um, so you will be getting exercises, things like that. So let me go through the syllabus. And what I'll do is every week I will post a video like this so that you understand what is expected of you each week. Uh, so uh, in this syllabus here, my office hours, you know, you can send me an email at mhowell at cccti.edu. Uh, stop by my office. I'm in build, E building, uh, third floor, uh, 339. You can give me a call, even though you probably just get voicemail. Uh, but my office hours are Monday through Friday, 10 till noon. Uh, now, granted, in some cases, uh, like Tuesday, Thursday, it's got 8 o'clock class. I'm here earlier, uh, Monday through Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, I'm here early, but other things going on. But uh, I will be in my office from 10 to 12 uh, every day of the week. Um, so like I said, this class is about uh, how to organize data, data structures, how to organize your data, and algorithms and how to process that uh, for your programming applications. Uh, the textbook you'll see and you look and says 2005. That's a pretty old book. But what I like about this book is uh, the way it, uh, even though it uses uh, C language, uh, and most of you had have had two semesters of C++, so there's a high correlation between uh, C language uh, and C++. So you'll be able to understand the code that is uh, in the book. Uh, but what I like about it is the, it uses a lot more pseudocode to make sure it under, gets you to understand uh, what the algorithm is doing. So ignore the age of the book. Uh, you should be able to get this through your Cengage Unlimited. Um, so you'll be able to pull that together. I think uh, in one of the videos we'll see shortly that uh, uh, you'll be able to see uh, how to get it through Cengage. Um, so basically, like I said, we're going to look at different types of structures. We'll look at uh, lists. Uh, both unsorted and sorted. We'll look, at, we'll look at things called stacks and queues and heaps and priority queues and different types. Uh, we're going to look at uh, how to implement recursion. Uh, I think some of these topics may be new to you, but I think you probably touched on recursion a little bit in your C++ class. Uh, but we're going to look at a lot of different uh, Things that you may have just briefly touched on in class, but now to look at a little more, a few more different algorithms, how to handle and process those. Uh, now, being an online class, attendance is still required. Uh, what I will do is every week, every week, there will be a reflection journal. Uh, that reflection journal gives you a capability of uh, providing me feedback on the class. Uh, a topic that you don't understand, uh, uh, lectures unclear, uh, but it's a hundred words, free form. Your only requirement, is, well, two requirements is one, you got to turn one in. Two, it's a hundred words, um, but you can make it anything you want. Uh, Keep in mind, if for some reason the class gets too difficult, uh, you'll have to double check. Um, probably the last day of withdrawing class is probably somewhere in the March time frame, so just keep that in mind. Uh, your grade is going to be based on 
45% uh, of your grade will be done uh, on the practice set problems. The problems. Now, at the end of the chapter, there's a section called practice sets. There are problems and there are exercises. Now, exercises just make sure you understand uh, basic concepts uh, from, the, from the chapter. So 25% of your grade will be based on that. But 45% of this is based on the problems. Uh, and those are just a little bit, little bit harder, but a little bit more of an application to uh, make that happen. Um, you've got 25% uh, is on the chapter exams. Uh, as you can tell, there's no midterm, no final. Uh, now, the last 5% of your grade is based into two areas. One is the reflection journal. So not only am I doing it for attendance purposes, um, I'm going to give you 3%. Just by doing your reflection journal, it's going to be worth 3% of your grade. And then... A communication method I used in the last few years is a tool called Remind. Some of you have used it in the past. Uh, some of you have had me in the class before uh, have had me use this. Uh, that gives you a chance to text. You know, I'll send out text messages to the class, uh, uh, but it gives you a chance that uh, I know sometimes when you're working on Sunday afternoon, Sunday night, uh, trying to get a homework assignment done and something's not clear. It gives you a chance of, instead of just sending an email, which I may not get until Monday afternoon, uh, gives you a chance to get more immediate response because uh, I definitely will check uh, my text messages faster than uh, email. And it's definitely <laughs> faster than getting waiting for my office hours. So, uh, but just to register for Remind, you get 2%. So you got 5% of your grade if you just do the reflection journals each week and register for Remind. I don't care if you use it or not. Just register. You've got 5% uh, of your grade. Uh, of course, you can tell that we're on the still 10-point scale, uh, so that still applies. Um, we're going to be doing close to, uh, I should say close to, uh, a chapter a week. Now you get chapter three stacks is a long, uh, long chapter. We'll be doing a couple of weeks in that. And then we get to the end, we talk about graphs and we get into sorting. Uh, those are a little bit longer chapters. Uh, so again, uh, you'll be able to, uh, you know, we'll have a couple of weeks on those. Uh, so uh, those are basic guidelines of what we'll be doing. Um, so now, keep in mind, you got certain resources available to you, Disability Center, uh, financial aid, things of that nature that uh, you can help. So hopefully that gives you an idea about the uh, syllabus. Uh, should give you enough information to take the syllabus quiz. If you have any questions on the syllabus, please let me know. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.